Hello people, I'm coming at you with a video that I'm going to be posting on the last day. What's the day? The 28th. And this is some lipstick. This is that Burt's Bees lipstick. It doesn't last long. But I ran out of chapstick. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I've been using this in place of my chapstick. Okay, so what I wanted to come at you with is I got some good news, okay, and I got a new palette. And this right here, and I think these are going to be uh, what's going to be popping up, I think, okay. And these, to me, I would call a purse palette, okay, because you can just stick this in your purse. However, it has enough colors in here, okay, to create multiple eye looks. As a matter of fact, on the back of this, this has a day to night look. Okay. So I thought it was pretty cool. And they had, I think, four, four palettes. But there was this was the only one left. All of them are gone. I'm on the late show. They even had those one dollar brushes. Those are gone. Okay. So you know, when you work at a store, you're so busy working, working, working. Sometimes you don't uh find out things until like you know customers in line or you just happen to see it okay now this is the nude awakening it's wet and wild okay and they have the little cruelty free little uh i call them rabbit ears but um this uh is the color icon okay it's nude awakening so i think that is the name of the palette And we are going to try this puppy out, okay? Now, I bought this a couple of days ago. What happened was I was going to use it today. Well, I am using it today. But, uh-oh. Uh oh, sheesh. We got another little piece here that, um... That, uh, is stuck on here, I guess. Oh, okay. It's stuck down on the side. I didn't see that. Totally missed that. Okay, just on one of them. I thought I was getting this ready before the video. But hey. Okay, it's always something. But, um. There we go. I'm going to open it for you. And this is what it looks like. Okay, now let me explain to you. Okay, I'm getting a glare because the sun is going down and everything. But this is the color, this color right here, and it's a, mer uh, a maroonish, burgundyish color. That's what jumped out to me in the palette. Okay, along with some other colors because I can see a couple of lid colors. You can interchange these colors, okay, and that's what drew me to this palette. Okay, and then you could just stick it back into your purse. So if you were traveling, okay, or you happen to be somewhere and you needed a palette and you got this in your purse, you're good. Okay, so let's just stop rambling and um, come up with a look here. And this is, I'm going to use some Cetaphil because I ran out of the uh, gentle cleansing cloths. And I just want to wipe my face because I did just get off work. And... They just called me in, okay? Uh-oh, sheesh. One too many um, towels came out. I hate that. But anyway, so I stuff it back in there and close it back up. But, um, yeah, they called me from work, okay? And I only have, like, 20 or 30 minutes to just get up. And get there. They want you there like snap. Okay. So anyway, I did put on some eyebrows and that was it. So I'm just going to clean my face off. As we create a look. Okay. And hopefully I can get this video out today. Set it right there so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to draw you in a little closer. Okay. And I am going to put some of this L.A. Girl. 
warm sand on my eyelids, okay? To because this is what I would do. Anytime that I would be putting on this uh eyeshadow and use this as an eyeshadow primer because it seems to work. really good keeping my makeup my eyeshadow in place and lasting all day until I take it off okay so if the palette is whacked okay we're gonna find out so I'm gonna go in with the um transition color and this transition color oh wow they even have the names on it okay so they have a transition color and this is this one right here and this one right here they both say transition in them okay and because this is a day to night look this would I would assume that this light transition would be for the day and this one right here would be for the night so hey I, I'm not mad I'm not mad okay but I'm just gonna do what I do so, but I just thought that was interesting to point that out. And I am going to do a daytime look, I guess. Because uh, I would be wearing this in the daytime. But I am not afraid to wear a nighttime look in the daytime and vice versa. Okay. So. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to use one of these lighter colors. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this color right here. The colors. Let me see. Do they have names? No, they don't have names on the colors that I know of. But I'm going to use this as my lid color. Okay. So this is what I'm working with right now and I am going to use a flat brush. Ooh. Ooh. Now I didn't even, uh, I didn't even put on a, um, any of this uh, primer to do like a cut crease or anything. I'm just putting it on. I'm just going free handed. Oh, look at you wet and wild. I think we're coming up already with a, uh, a nice natural look. So we definitely have pigmentation going on here. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I want to take it since we're doing it like that. Oh yeah. Then I'm going to take this maroon color that attracted me in the first place right here and I'm going to put that on the corners. I'm going to dab it at first, see what we working with.
And then I'm just gonna blur it out there. Okay, just gonna use a little bit more. Oh, sorry, a little bit more. of this maroon color right there in the corner and then I'm gently just gently blending it That's nice. I'm not mad at you. Okay, now, I'm not mad at you. Okay, so now we're gonna need a um, highlight color. Dang, I don't even have on foundation and that looks good. Okay, so we gonna go in and I'm gonna use, okay, I'm gonna use this color right here on my uh, brow bone. Now I am getting fallout Wow. Okay. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to take that maroon because I'm all excited and do uh, under the eyes on the lower lid. <sighs> kind of want to smoke it out. Then I'm going to back up. And we're going to use some eyeliner. This right here is Ulta. We're going to try this. I'm supposed to sharpen it. I really like it, but sheesh. It's called Blackout. And I'm going to do the... Okay. Then I'm just going to put on some uh, foundation real quick because I am loving this look and we're going to use my cushion because I have been using this cushion all week and I have really been enjoying it. Really have been enjoying it. It looks nice. I think I should do the, um, I should wing this out. 
I'm going to use some blush, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just to add a little color for the video. Because it does make a difference. Okay. And then I'm going to wing this out. Because I think it would look better with a winged look. I didn't mean to wing it out this much, but I did. Now, I don't normally like my uh, wing this long, but I'm feeling this. I am feeling this. Mm. Okay, well, let's do some mascara. You like that let me know down below that right here is the nude awakening okay palette from wet and wild this is the color icon let me know your thoughts on this how do you how do you uh how do you like this look because this is just oh i forgot to tell you As some of you know that I am planning on relocating back to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's where I was born and raised. And I had put in a transfer for work. Well, I found out today that they did call. Okay, they got a response. And, okay, they were going to do a phone interview. But when they looked at my, uh, um, what do you call it, your... Um, Oh, I forgot. When they look up your reviews, okay, you know, look up your uh, attendance and all that kind of stuff. They called back and they said, that's okay. She don't need to re uh, review. We just, an interview, excuse me. We just want to know when she can start. <laughs> okay. And now... I uh, uh, told my mom, my mom's feeling better because now she's talking about, well, how are you going to get to work? Your car. It's... What, what, my son can drop me off at work because I don't want to hold the car up being at work, okay? And the car sitting out there in case she needs it. It is her car, but you know, he can drop me off and pick me up. Come on now. One look, okay, of many looks that you can create out of this palette. And that's what I like it uh, about it. The compartments are not too small. They're not too big. Yeah, and they give you plenty of transition color in here, okay? Because that's going to be the most popular... Uh, uh color used the shade in here and it's just really nice i am loving it okay i mean this makes my blending look all okay like i'm a professional okay and i'm not it's just the palette oh my goodness okay so don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave your comments or any questions you have below don't forget to give this look a thumbs up but most of all stay blessed bye